every time I come to this park on a Sunday evening, it's full of people playing soccer. Wouldn't you know it, on the day of the World Cup, it ain't nobody out here. Internet, it's your boy Mark T from that Mark and Rob TV. What's up, Internet? It's your boy Rob T from that Mark and Rob TV. Man, today, man, today, it seemed like this whole week, it was a sports week, man. Sports all the way, man. Sports all the way. Of course, today was the World Cup. You know it went down. Spain won the World Cup, man. Everybody was tripping on the World Cup. And, and, and you know what? The octopus predicted it, man. Predicted it like like 9,000, man. The octopus predicted that Spain would win the World Cup, man. Uh, it's usually a lot of people at this park playing soccer, but I guess everybody was at home chilling, watching the game, man. I'm not really no huge soccer fan, but you know, I I, I, I don't watch it, but I, I, I like to, I used to like to play it when I was a kid, man. Yeah, you checked it out today a little bit, the, the World Cup. Just though, a huh? little bit, man, just a little bit. It, you know, I'm more of a, a, a American football fan, man. Yes, sir. But you know what, my in-laws, they really, they really cut for that soccer, man. They be watching it like, I heard somebody say, man, soccer is almost like a religion, man. Huh. Yeah, man, and um, Everybody know about your boy LeBron James and he going to Miami, man. He man. going to Miami. Uh, but you know what, man? I think it was a good choice. But you know what's a trip to me, man? What's that? The fans are going crazy, man. You know what? Cleveland don't like that too much, man. man. I think I think LeBron kind of pissed some people off, man, man. The Cleveland fans are going crazy. I've been seeing videos. They've been showing people crying on tape in bars and stuff. I Burning saw jerseys. Burns and jerseys. And, and the city of Cleveland took down the sign of LeBron James. What's that all about, oh, man? man? They putting up signs in restaurants, dissing the man, man. And, 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 and all this kind of stuff, man. That's uncomfortable. Even these gossip sites, they putting up pictures of him and his girl talking about they not, she don't look happy and, and, and I mean, come on, man. They trying to start some mess. She don't look happy and it's a lot of groupies and she better step up her game, man. Man, shh. Man, these Cleveland fans are going off, man. They cursing the man out, man. But what about all that good that LeBron did when he was in Cleveland? What about that, man? He did a, I don't know, man. I think they, I think they feel he owed them or something, man. I, I don't know what it is. It, it feel like the, the way they sound is like, it's like he he, he messed over them or something. It was like like a fam, like a divorce or something, man. Man, that man probably feel he did his just doing Cleveland, and he just felt it was time to move on, and the man moved on, I know, man. man. You just got to let that man do his thing, man. And you know what else, man? It's this little video. I'm going to try to find it. It's on YouTube. They asked Michael Jordan, who's the best player between LeBron and Kobe? The, the video is nine seconds long, man. He okay. said Kobe. He just said Kobe. He said Kobe? Up. He said Kobe, man. Man. MJ said Kobe. I don't know, man, but good luck to that boy LeBron. I think it's a good choice, man. Him, Chris Bosh, and that boy Dwayne Wade look like they probably going to do some damage Power out there, house, man. man. They going to do house. some damage out there, man. And uh, it was one more story. It's kind of intriguing, man. This story about this dude they call the, the Barefoot Bandit, man. You got a little a little something on it you want to break him off with, man. man he been on the run for like two years, two man. Two years. A young guy, man. A, a U.S. citizen, man. Yeah, you know what? He got a fan, but he got a fan page on on on, on uh, Facebook. On Facebook with thousands and, and thousands of fans, but they caught the old boy, man. Yeah, this dude was accused of sip stealing boats and. Cars and plane, all kind of stuff, man. Think about this though. Would you steal a plane and learn how to fly while you in it, man? No, nah, man. <laughs> no. Nah. That, that dude crazy, man. Hey, man. That I, dude I is you, crazy, I, man. I, I don't know what he was thinking about, man. But I, I, I guess he, I guess he was on the adventure or something, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But don't break him off a little about the story, man. Okay, he's a teenager. Bahama police captured a teenage U.S. fugitive today, bringing an end to the Barefoot Bandit. That's what they call him, the Barefoot Bandit. Two years flight from U.S. Justice, a 
senior police officer said Colton Harris Moore, that's his name, was arrested before down on Northern, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but some island. The police official said, speaking on conditions of enormity because he was not authorized to discuss the case. Harris, What's his name, man? His name is Colton Harris Moore has been on the run from American law enforcement since escaping from a Washington State halfway house in 08, gained fame and thousands of fans who admired his ability to evade arrest. Yeah, man, that's enough about old boy, but they caught old boy. He was doing some stuff. I know what, they gonna make a movie about this oh, dude, Oh yeah, man. yeah, 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 they, Hollywood story. Oh yeah, man, they already, they gonna make a movie about this dude because he eluded police for two years and uh, he was stealing planes, boats, breaking into places, and and and, and leaving pictures and and footprints uh, with chalk and all this stuff, man. Yeah, and I guess he liked to walk barefoot. Too, he right? liked ba walk barefoot in the sand and stuff. Huh? I don't know, man. He, I don't know, but they got him, man. He gonna be in jail for a while now, man. But it's your boy Mark T, man. Tell us, did your team win the World Cup? Are you interested in soccer? You like soccer or what, man? Or do you just jump on the bandwagon? I mean, when it's through the playoffs. Yeah, man. And that boy LeBron James, have, do y'all think these Cleveland fans are tripping, man? Uh, do, do you think that LeBron, do, do you think he owed something to, to, to Cleveland? Uh, he was there seven years, he gave him his all. Do you think his, he, do you think he made the right decision? Is Miami a good look for LeBron James? Yeah, let us know, man. I mean, what, what, what's his allegiance with Cleveland or him and his family, man? Hmm. I mean, that's the man want to win a ring, man. I can understand that, man. And and, and tell us what y'all think about this barefoot bandit, man. Is is, is this little kid crazy or, 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 or what? What y'all think about that, man? It's your boy Mark T from that Mark and Rob TV. It's your boy Rob T from that Mark and Rob TV. I tell y'all what, comment on this video, thumbs it up, and subscribe if this your first time seeing us. What's up? What's up? My name Mark. Nice to meet you. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Peace. We are. You know what? Thank y'all for watching this video, man. And thanks to all our new subscribers. Peace. Peace, Peace out, out, man. Peace out.